Hello everyone and welcome back to PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we continued on through the Citron Epic Quest. This time we're going to be finishing it off. But first, there's a new warp party to try out. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now the other day I saw there was an announcement uh, for Eclipse that they're going to be ending warp parties. Which I thought was kind of interesting. And they're going to bring back the uh, Yeti hunts that are in the vanilla game. Alright, survive without planting on the mold ponds. Ooh, alright. Oh, we got Robo Cones. I can't really use fire, it would seem. Because of the dragon imps. We also have dinosaurs. I don't believe primal peas work against the Robocones. The Robocone zombies have always been pretty frustrating to deal with, to say the least. Hmm. And also, because of these mold colonies, you've got to be a bit creative with how we set stuff up. I almost want to say this is probably a good daisy chain level because daisy chain is usually good for slow down when you have limited space. At least that's my argument. I might give it a shot. I'll just use the tier one because you know it's so expensive to get out if it's tier three. And yeah, I need something to deal with the uh, the, the rebel cone. Uh, what do I do? What would be an effective way of dealing with them? Problem is that there's imps too. You know what I'm also thinking is um... We don't have any zombies that can destroy... Um, Spike Rock, but I'm looking at this and there doesn't seem to be any like good spaces for Spike Rock because we wouldn't be able to like hold the zombies in place. Like there's no like rows here that are you know, back to back free, except for in the back, but we obviously don't want to wait to um, get rid of the zombies there. And also, I think the Robocones can like eat the the defending plant without stepping on the spike rock. They have like a bit of a range to them. I mean, it's, it might still be a good idea to put them out because you know, oh, because you know, if I did that, right, that would prevent any imp that comes out, um, and also a basic zombie. That might be something to consider. And then I could... Oh, I could use Citron! The perfect tie-in to bring in Citron, you know? I mean, I'm just gonna bring 2-2, two, two, I think. Otherwise, it'd be a bit overkill. Okay, so I might do that. If I'm gonna have a daisy chain, I probably should have a pumpkin as well. And then I'm also just thinking, like, Hurricane would be useful here. Uh, because I, I, I'm sure stuff will inevitably get sprung backward. In fact, I almost want to bring the Perfume Shroom as well. I also kind of need something for the early game. I think it might just be my best interest just to... Hmm. This Perfume Shroom is tempting. You know, I'm just gonna get rid of the extra sunflower. I don't think that'll be necessary because because of the limited space we have. I think I will. Uh, I think I will bring an early game plan. And that'll be a red stinger. So I think I will need something to get me through that. Let's give that a shot. We'll just put uh, sunflowers there. I guess I don't really like that spot though. So I heard the last war party was going to be number 169, this is 163, so we still got some war parties left. Let's just put the spike rock out immediately, because I know it has such a long cooldown. Let's make sure to keep our sunflowers out though. What should I do about this guy? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to red stinger. I might just let that guy go, honestly. Like, I, don't... I might just get a free pass. This guy I'm gonna have to blow back, though, until I get a red stinger for him. In fact, I might just let the cone head go, too, honestly. Like, I'm kinda just determined to build up stuff right now and not, like, spend too much on other things. 
Actually, you know, I think a Citron can get him if I put him down now. Let's get a Red Singer for there. Come on, Citron, I believe in you. Although losing that Sunflower is probably not the best course of action. I need to get a Daisy Chain out. That would be very helpful. Dang, I really can't be. I can't really afford to lose all my Sun Producers this early. Just push you back. Uh, I don't like this. Yeah, maybe not taking a second sun producer is a bad idea. Yeah, that might. That might be. Because I think that pumpkin's about to go as well. Let's just push him back and get him killed by the spike rock. Dang, that mower is gone too, which really sucks. <laughs> At least we can put a red stinger out now. See, it's here two Citrons decent at uh, getting rid of the Amber Heads, at least. But yeah, this is such a rough early game because I've lost like way too many Sunflowers. I don't have a whole lot of setup. Uh, probably definitely should get more spike rock out wherever because I'm gonna have to deal with imps and yeah uh, Citron is not a good use for taking it. It's not very good for taking out imps. I'm just gonna heal that pumpkin back up And I really should get something in that row I'm waiting for the dinosaurs to come out so I can perfume them Who am I going to perfume first? Probably on the bottom row. No reason, just thought they would be good to perfume. Let's just pull, push you back. Let's get Spike Rock there to get rid of that imp. I mean, we pretty much got the setup going now. All that's really necessary is uh, getting more citrons out. So yeah, spike rock in almost every row now. Super good. Thins out all the weaker zombies. Still really need to get out more Citrons, but it's just so dang expensive. I'm running out of space to put Sunflowers. I think I might put Sunflowers up in the front here, and then I'll put a pumpkin around them. Okay, well this we definitely can't have happen. Oh, they might get flung again. Oh. Get a Citron in that row. Yeah, I'll just put another Sunflower up front. Seems like the thing to do. And yeah, I figure I may as well perfume another. So there's nowhere to plant stuff now in the rows. <laughs> yeah, maybe perfume stream really wasn't needed. Yeah, I can't put spike rock anywhere else. I'm 
gonna probably just start replacing um, red stingers for more citrons. Eventually, let me get. I'll get rid of the sunflowers in the back first. Yeah, what a, what a good tie-in to use uh, citrons for this level. I think it. I think that was a fairly good choice. Yeah, well, I have the space, I may as well perfume this guy. That was, it was just such a bad early game I had, too. Like, I'm surprised I was able to come back from that. Yeah, Daisy Chain is certainly helping out. It's nice to have that slowdown all contained to like just one plant. I don't have like to ha I don't have to have a snow pea in like every row, for example. Alright, dinosaurs, get on out of here. You lost. Oh, name of the level is even orangier. Or orangier. <laughs> I feel like I was meant to use this plant. It was destiny. All right, let's go collect our rewards, and then we're gonna move on to the final Citron um, levels. I sure do hope I get more mints out of this, considering war parties are going away. Although it might be easier getting mints from the Yeti hunts, who knows? Well, I know it probably is easier to get mints with the Yeti hunts. What really sucks about the Yeti hunts though is that you kind of just have to replay levels that you already beaten. I mean, I understand why they're going away. Like, I heard that, like, it's just very time-consuming um, to, like, implement the war parties, you know? Someone has to make them, someone has to, like, implement them into the game. You know, stuff like that. But yeah, let's, uh, jump back into Citron. Two more levels of this. Ooh, they're frozen on the beach. Another Gargantua encounter. At least they are not endangered anymore. But they are frozen! Of all the arrows, how did they get frozen during the beach? Beats me. Oh, this is the last stand level, is it? And we got Gargantuars? Oh, shoot. 2500 sun. Is this gonna be like the classic last stand? Are there gonna be any gimmicks thrown in? Well, is Hot Potato available? It is. In fact, can I plant hop or can I use hot potato during the beginning, I wonder? Or like before like we kick it off for free? That'd be nice. I mean I probably won't even need to use it that much anyway. There's no zombies that can freeze. But I do I need something for the chickens. And, or yeah, the chickens. I almost wanna say like um Toadstool might be really good here. There's a lot of gargantuars. They might throw out a lot of imps too. Oh, I can't use Toadstool, never mind. Hmm. Hmm. See, I have to assume the Citrons are gonna be good enough for this. I'm hoping they're tier three. Maybe Lightning Reed. The problem with Lightning Reed though is that you can't place it before... I know you can't place it before like the, the waves officially begin. I'm also thinking maybe some Lobbing Plant too. I really want to try... I'm going to try the AKE but not this high tier, you know? So I know I don't use it very much. And I probably want some slowdown plant. I almost think Endurium would be good here because it would stop the seagulls from getting anywhere fast. It would also stop the uh, chickens entirely. I might try Endurian. Where's my Endurian at? There. And then we definitely need lily pads because it's the beach. Where are lily pads? There. I 
I probably want some just instant use plants as well. Uh, Tangle Kelp is pretty cheap. That should save our butts. Maybe a Carrot too. It might it might actually help quite a bit with the um, Endurians. Yeah, let's do Hurricane. Her oh, Hurricane? Oh, yeah, let's, just, let's leave it at that. Here's my first attempt after all. Alright, let's see. Can I use... Oh, they don't let me use Hot Potato beforehand. Okay, well, let's... Oh, I really hope the a the AKEEs are smart enough to, like, hit the ice first, you know? Oh, am I not, am I not gonna have enough sun here? Okay, well, maybe they'll give me more sun. We'll have to see. If not, I can always just put Lightning Reed out. Come on. Break those ice blocks. Ignore the other zombies for right now. Okay, well, I guess I'll just have the Lightning Reed. Focus on this. No, not the lily pads. Oh, I don't know how good this is gonna be. It's, this is so silly seeing the lightning read take all this out. <laughs> well, I probably should have put the um. The um, lily pad in front of the gargantuar. I, I, I mean, I gotta stall this guy. We don't have the damage out for this. The problem is that the, this AKE is distracted right now. Um, because of the uh, gargantuar, so it's only the lightning reed that's hitting. Oh, I can. I, I have hot potato flat right now. What am I doing? I totally forgot I have hot potato. I haven't. I didn't use that to break them out earlier. Yeah, so at this point, Lily Pad is like only here for uh, support. All right, do I want to get one more lightning reed? I feel like one is. I might need another. Actually, looking at this. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna roll with. We don't need anything else. Lightning Reed's only there to get rid of the chickens. And I guess also get rid of the imps too a bit faster. Oh, is it gonna be enough for this carrot though? Get rid of that guy, please. Get rid of him. No, I need that to live, my dude. Oh, I should have plant fooded it or something. Can I live without a Citron? I'm gonna say probably no. Okay, so now I know that I don't have as much sun as I needed to. I think Endurians might be out. We don't need Endurians. Endurians are pointless. I think Lightning Reeds are enough to handle all the threats being thrown at us. Let's see, I think I had like 750 sun left over after putting everything down that I wanted. Man, I really wish I could use Toadstool, but yeah, I kind of guess, I guess I understand why they're not letting me use it. I need, yeah, I need something that's good at getting rid of the parrots, but I don't know if such a thing exists. Oh, I guess maybe like Charred Guard and Spring Bean. I don't think they can get eaten, but that doesn't seem the best of choice to me. Honestly, I think I might just um, imitate the Lightning Reed. Let's see. I'll, I, I'm gonna give that a shot. And I'll, I'll try the AKE easy again. Unfortunately, they're not boosted this time. And I'll put Spring Beans. I might be able to just put Spring Beans out anyway. Because they're so cheap. They, they might have some defense against the, the birds. Alright, let's get... Yeah, I'll try that out.
Yeah, the lightning rings are so effective at getting in birds. Okay, let's just unthaw this. Again, I gotta be using the lily pads to stall the Gargantuars. I'm not doing that very well. In fact, I, now that I have Iceberg Lettuce in my lineup too, I can really delay him. Oh, the stupid chicken took the shot for the, gar the Gargantuar. Yeah, my next two Lightning Rees gotta be a bit closer up, I think. Okay, let's, um... Okay, he's dead. I guess I'll just be putting more and more lightning reads out there. Yeah, I'll put these next two on the Citrons. There, so now they can shoot out a bit further. The dream is to not have the imps take the shots away from the Citrons. Okay, let's see what happens to this bird here. I might have to... Okay, the bird... That bird died. Oh, yeah, so they go after the uh, Citron... Or they go after the Spring Beans and they kind of get get turned away. I might also just be able to put Iceberg Lettuce out. And maybe that'll distract... The dudes. Oh, that... What did that bird do? It just... That bird didn't know what to do. I was a bit slow in putting the iceberg lettuce out. But like I have three uh, three plant food in the bank that I haven't had to use. This is really nice. This is, I actually really like the, the setup is like working out very well. See like the birds just go away like they can't they can't do what they want to do. Yeah, the spring beans are just, like the spring beans don't get to activate, but they're just bait for the birds. This is beautiful, actually, very beautiful. Oh shoot, we have a problem. Okay, the bird died up there. I was gonna say we're gonna have a problem. I guess I'll just throw out Iceberg Lettuce wherever. Yeah, well I need to use something, so I guess I'll just use that there. By plant feeding the random Citron too, I also get a little lightning cloud that goes around zapping things. Man, look at all the lightning. I love this, it looks beautiful. Okay, we need to do something else again. We'll do that row, I guess. Well, I can't put out anything else except for a one Tangle Kelp for Spring Bean. That's all I can afford. Alright, well, this is the final wave. Uh, I guess I'll just do this. There's, there should be like three little lightning clouds going around zapping things. Yeah, look, look at them, they're all just getting zapped right now. They all, they all have their own little lightning cloud. Alright, that... Okay. I'm really glad I figured out that the, uh... 
Let me read. Or I'm really glad I figured out the spring bean was going to be like the ultimate bait there against uh, against the birds. Yeah, the really good like synergy overall. Because yeah, lightning we kept the, the chickens away and then spring bean bait, baited the birds. That's all we really needed to do. I don't think uh, the AKEE -E was actually that necessary. Because the barrels were just getting blasted in one hit. Alright, so I have a massive attack in the plasma field. The boss is immune to sun. What is going on? The boss is immune to sun. The boss? What boss? We haven't had bosses before. What are you talking about? Alright, I don't know... To, I don't know whether to believe there's gonna be ice... here. What does plasma field mean? Like, you can't just introduce the, all these new mechanics on me at the end of a world. Alright, well we got a whole load of variety of stuff here. We got dodos. We got grave makers. We got... The, the troglodytes. Probably should bring in the hot potato for this again. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need a tier 3. You know, I wonder if a grave buster, when you put it on a grave and there's an ice block next to it, I wonder if it'll, like, hurt the ice block. That is an interesting thing to consider. I might... I might actually do that. Well, I probably should bring the Citron, although maybe not tier 3. I mean, this is the epic quest for it. There are... There are Bucketheads. And Strong Guys. Yeah, yeah, I think Citron should be fine. I almost want to make this... I know, <laughs> um, an electric current level, but no, the problem is that we have the uh, troglodytes. They'll just push over anything in that row. Well, this might be a good level to actually try the Toad's Tool, because there, there are going to be imps, after all. Loads and loads of imps. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I almost want to say Sunbeam could be good too, because we have so many tough guys. And we need some like basic attacking plan. I, also, I think Lightning Read again is going to be helpful here, because I might be overwhelmed by the weasels. Yeah, and I think some slowdown is needed. Slow down is always pretty good to have. I think I'll just do. I'll, I'll just rock with that. Uh, we'll try and do two columns of sun producers, I guess. Again, right now, I'm really just assuming that there's not going to be any um, ice. If there, if there is going to be ice involved, I might change some strategies up. Just put the lightning read there for right now. Again, we gotta get these lightning reads out early because they have such a long recharge time. Oh, hello there. Oh, there's hunters. Well, hunters are a different story. I might consider... Oh, what? Why did you do that, dude? Oh, that's what you do? That's your whole thing? Okay, I'm just gonna block a shop. Oh, well. So they just throw plasma at me. Please get rid of that guy. Oh, is this the boss they were talking about? The boss is immune to stun. This must be the boss. Well, how do I deal with him? Hmm. No, don't. I don't want to lose my lightning read. And he said he was immune to stun. Okay. 
Let me... I need to rethink my strategy here, clearly. I wonder if a defensive plant can actually, like, take a hit and not, like, die. That is what I'm wondering. Other than that, I think I'm gonna have to bring some kind of... I gotta, I gotta bring some plants to, like, push them back. Right. The sunbeam's out. For sure. Uh, I'm not so sure we want to get rid of snow pea, though. Also, I don't think hot, yeah, hot potatoes might not be needed. Well, we still have the troglodytes, so it's hard to say. But yeah, I want to see if a, a tall nut will stop him. No, we need something. We need something to push his stuff back. I think Hurricane is probably going to be our best bet because that would also kill any dodos if they're flying. Where's her kale at? I believe these plants all the time. Well, I noticed they just banned Grimrose. I guess they don't want me insta-killing the boss. Maybe the boss actually has, like, HP. Oh, you know, I wonder... I wonder if a Chomper can kill him. Is, is Chomper unbanned? Where's Chomper at? Chomper's not banned. I might give that a shot. If so, I'm gonna get rid of Toadstool. Chopper actually would be good at getting rid of the ice blocks, I think, but we... Hmm. I'm probably gonna want, like... Some... I don't know what I want to bring, actually. This is a tricky level to think about. I try Red Singer just for the early game. You know, it is kind of tricky. Uh, getting through this when everything is so expensive. Alright, I said I needed... Oh yeah, Hurricane's banned. So... Hurricane's banned, that's so strange. I guess I'll just bring Stalia. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I wonder if a Chomper can just, like, eat this boss. Okay, top row is, like, uber prepared now. Okay, test time. Oh no, he doesn't die in one hit. Okay, that's a, I mean, that's a bit, uh, unfortunate. I guess I'll just push you back. Come on, move back into the chopper row, I dare you. No, you coward. Oh, I am not... Am I prepared against this weasel guy? I mean... I sure hope I am. I guess I'll just send you back. What the heck? That that ball just missed everything! I guess when I... S oh, Weasel, are you gonna die? Weasel! Excuse me, Weasel! You're getting hit with the lightning raid! You're supposed to die! Uh -huh. Okay, well, one interesting thing I saw is that when he threw that, I assume if I time my Stalia perfectly, he'll just hit nothing? Okay, I, I gotta put my first, like, lightning raid not at the edge. I think that was the problem, is that... Okay, let maybe get rid of Snow Pea. Hmm. Oh, I might just bring Stunion. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring Stunion. Stunion's probably better for the early as well. 
But yeah, let's uh, not put our first lightning read at the top like that. I guess I was just afraid of him getting hit by the hunter again. I gotta get something in front of him though. Okay, so I, I know I can make this guy miss. Come on, dude, I dare you. I freaking dare you. Oh, I just blocked the shot with the Stalia. How does that feel? Okay, middle row pretty well off now. Okay, I mean the chopper took the hit there, but I'm, I think I'll, I'll live with that. Okay, I'm just gonna stun you, dude, because I'm not ready to deal with you. Okay, regular sunflower. You, yeah, that's fine. You can have regular sunflower. But get Citron to the face! Oh, I, I mistimed that. Oh, no, I did. No, everything's fine. Yeah, he missed. He missed. I need to get another lightning readout for the weasels, though. It's uh, just a red stinger there to help with Weaselton. Oh, well, I just stunned him, actually. Come on, do your thing, do your thing. I dare you, I dare you! Do your thing! Boom! Get countered! Okay, you can just see it have a sunflower that time, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna sink a lot of damage into this guy with Chomper, I guess. Oh, Snowstorm. I don't know if I'm prepared for a Snowstorm, guys. Don't touch my Lightning Reed. No. Okay, he died, he died. That guy died, it's fine. Do your thing. Do your thing. I dare you! Yes! Countered! Take a chomper to the face. I was really hoping that chomper was gonna stop to eat that bucket head at some point, but we'll live. I need to stall this guy in the back, actually. Chomper is actually being really useful here. Oh man, look at that, we just crossed plasma balls just then. Get more citrons out. And they need it for a robo cone head here. Oh, that's right, the robots are immune to stun gas too, I forgot about that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block this guy's shot again. There we go with the Stalia. Well, I guess bottom row's not looking too good. Come on, Chomper, mess that guy up, mess that guy up. Oh, can I hit both of these? Nice. Yeah. Okay, good. Bottom row's recovering. Boss, can you just die already? That would make my day. Stun you, I don't want more graves. Oh, the Stalia didn't go off, but... Oh, oh, the, the Chomper just ate the Weasels and all. Didn't think that would be a thing that could happen. Mm. 
guess I'll just throw this out, distract you. I'm gonna need to stall you, you at some point. Oh, I already put the stall you out, nuts. So I'll dig you up. Uh, this guy is like really deep now, which kind of sucks. I mean, it looks like he's weak. Based on how he looks, right? Send this group. Okay, well, I'm gonna need to stall you right now because you're about to cross the line. But yeah, now the other rows are struggling. Cause these stupid troglodytes, man. Like, how close is this guy to dying? Like, he better be very, very close. Please just shuffle down, please, and we'll get hit by another Stalia. That's all I need you to ha have happen. Oh, we're so screwed, though. No, yeah, we're done. We're done! Okay, okay. So clearly, I need something better to contain this guy. Spring Bean might be very good. And I started doubting the the power of the Chomper at the end there. I mean, Chomper was actually quite good. I think Red Stinger was the problem. I don't think I really needed that. Yeah, and Stunion wasn't that good either. I think Spring Bean would be really good here. Because it would be excellent bait to being hit. And also, he could send the guy backwards quite a bit. I actually think like hot potato would be really nice here, just to contain the troglodytes. Or you know, a no AKEE -E could still be very nice because it would hit the troglodytes in the back. Yeah, we're, let me get the AKEE -E out. Is that good enough? I'm gonna say that's well. I almost don't want to say Stalia is necessary anymore. Actually, yeah, let me get rid of Stalia. I think Spring Bean's gonna just gonna be better overall because I don't need to send groups back all the time. Now, I think maybe just helping out with the Robo Cones and bringing the EM Peach could be good. Yeah, I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna bring an EM Peach. Uh, yeah, put you there. Oh, I guess it's not going to be as easy to counter the guy now and have him not hit anything. I don't think the EMP is going to be as good as that. Because I don't think it can activate that quickly. I don't know, I guess we'll just see. Oh, see that that's that's the problem. Oh, dang it. Uh I'm going to restart actually. I think Stallion might be needed for that specific reason. Cuz it's going to be so much easier to block his shots that way. Yeah, okay. I I I take it back. We don't need EMP. Peach. We just need Stallion. So what does the extra tiers do? It costs more. Oh, but it knocks back further. Yeah, I'll just stick with this tier one. I, th I think we'll be fine. Let's fast forward just a little bit through the beginning here. This guy just needs to hurry up and die. I just want to get rid of him. Where's the boss? Did he die? No, he's still alive. Never mind.
Yeah, let's just get him off screen again. Don't have to worry about him. Yeah, because I think like even, like a tier three Citron would be able to like um much more easily like uh, just one shot the ice. Oh, you guys all kind of snowstormed in out of nowhere, didn't you? Oh dang, the Citron doesn't die in one hit. That's At least that's what it looks like just now. I really hope I don't go through all this and somehow lose still. Okay, there's so many ice blocks up top. <laughs> The amount of lightning going through everything is crazy. Dude, just die already! Yes! And I get plant food for that as well. Are we on the final flag? Oh, I think we just win right- yes! Oh my gosh, that level is so long! I think that's enough power to last me a good while. Agreed, I think we can conclude that train the training for now. Back to time traveling we go. Where are we going next? Only the time stream will know. Yay. Give me my freaking mints, my dude. Alright guys, that's gonna be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed. Uh so yeah, we completed that epic quest. So yeah, next time we'll move back into some challenge levels here. So yeah, you guys can look forward to that. Hope you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.